Hey guys, I'm Gus, your friendly neighborhood African plant hunter. And uh, you might be able to hear Kasuka, my parrot, somewhere in the background. She usually makes noise as soon as I start filming. That's how it goes. Anyway guys, I'm here today to share a little factoid with you about my favorite African tree, which is, of course, the baobab. So here we go. Adansonia digitata, the baobab. This is the matriarch of African trees. She is the oldest. Baobab trees get up to two and a half thousand years old. She is the biggest. Their circumference can exceed 35 meters around. And she is definitely the wisest of all the African trees. This tree, which is found throughout the African continent, 32 countries in Africa have baobab, um, is really, really the most remarkable tree of the entire continent. And it's one to which I've dedicated a really large chunk of my life. Now I could tell you, everything I could tell you about this tree will take multiple installments. Uh, but I'm standing here in northeastern Zimbabwe by a particularly interesting specimen. Um, and I'm just going to show you the hollow in this. I don't know if you can see that, but baobab trees are very often hollow inside. And uh, sometimes the hollow goes all the way up to the top. This one is just a hole inside it. But this, the amazing thing about this tree is it can survive perfectly well. Because as you can see when you look in here, um, it's not actually a conventional tree. It's, it's actually um, made of, this bark is not a hardwood, it's made of fiber. And all these little bits of fiber, it's a succulent. This is actually a giant succulent, like a cactus. And all these bits of fiber are incredibly good at drawing water from the soil. But the thing is, when there's a hole in it, or something comes and eats it, or whatever, the tree is perfectly happy and just adapts and survives to it. Very remarkable thing. Now, I'm not going to go into this hole right now because it's also a favorite hiding place for black mambas. And black mambas and homo sapiens don't get on too well together. We're face to face inside the confined hollow of a baobab. But I'm absolutely certain people have taken shelter in here before. I can actually see there the signs of wood smoke in there. So people have actually stayed inside here. And I'll take you around the tree just now and show you some of the other evidence of early human habitation within this tree. But this is the baobab and let's go have a look. Thanks guys, I really hope you enjoyed that. As you can hear, Kasuka the parrot totally loved it. She had a great time. Um, yeah, listen, if you did like it, please do uh, like, like it, like as you like it, subscribe to it, share it, uh, do whatever you gotta do to get it out there. And um, yeah, join me again next time. I'm Gus, the African plant hunter. I'll check you later.